Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick video. It's uh, regarding the what I got in the mail today. Uh, so, as you know, of course, I'm a Lego collector, Lego fan. And uh, so I, years ago, I signed up for, you know, the, getting the, I guess, Lego magazine, for the lack of a better term. So I've been getting them on a regular basis. I don't know if they're monthly or quarterly, but they're just like any other magazine you get for something you sign up for, right? A store or whatever the case is. Uh, uh, didn't pay much attention to them. Anyway, today, uh, when I grabbed the mail, I got this in the mail, which is seems like my Lego magazine, but it's different. It's not like the typical magazine I used to get. It says adults welcome. So I think, which is kind of, I like that because I think Lego start now, uh, Lego is at least they're going after the Lego adult fans, which is, I'm one of them. So I find this is kind of interesting. Uh, so they're putting us in a different category. So that's a nice thing. Of course, also I like the, the way the magazine looks. It kind of looks different, you know, it's a kind of black matte color. Uh, something that I definitely will save. I mean, I save some of them, uh, depending on what the content is, but this is definitely, is gonna be a save. First of all, because it's the first of it, uh, of that kind. And I don't know if that's gonna be the trend moving forward. And if not, then at least I have one of those unique ones. So anyway, I never, I didn't look at the content yet, what's in it, but uh, I wanted to share that with you, uh, at least for the ones who are into the Lego, uh, Lego collection and, uh, so let's look what's in there. Uh, so, okay, so, oh, it has a flip, which is kind of good. So it has a, it's showing this Lego set, the typewriter, which is Lego 21327, which I actually have that Lego. I didn't, I didn't build it yet, but uh, eventually I will. So keep your eye on my channel. Uh, I'll definitely post a video of it and a quick review. But yeah, so that's nice. Uh, so there's a letter here from Lego, uh, unplug and get creative. It's time to switch off and find some joyful focus with a special collection of curated Lego sets designed specially for adults. I like that. Okay. I can buy it. Whether you choose to indulge your inner architect or pay homage to the Beatles in Lego bricks, we invite you to slow down, breathe deeply and unlock your imagination. Discover the full world of Lego art, entertainment, travel, history, and sport, along with tips for building mindfulness at lego.com. Welcome to the world of Lego building. I like that. I mean, it's kind of nice that they are uh, uh, right now recognizing that there's a big adult fan there, uh, Lego adult fan. So that's nice that they have a special category for us now. And of course, they are mentioning the VIP points. So if you're not, just uh, something to look into if you're into Legos. Uh, you can get points and translate that points to vouchers where you could buy a Lego sets cheaper, of course, because you could use that points. Okay, so that's good. Let's see what's here. Oh, look at that. So uh, this is like, a, let me just zoom in so you can see the, there you go. So they're showing you the, the space. Uh, this is the space uh, sets uh, that came out uh, this is the shuttle, the space shuttle with the Hubble. This is came out this year. I had, I do have this. Again, I didn't build it. Didn't get a chance to build it yet. Uh, but definitely when I build it, it's, I'll be posting it. It's a Lego set 10283. It uh, goes for $200. And of course, there's the NASA Apollo Saturn V. That's been there for a while. Um, I do have this one too, but I did not build it too. So that's kind of nice. Uh, that they're opening the catalog or the magazine with uh, the space uh, team. Uh, okay, so that's a good start. And again, they are focusing on the adult uh, fan here. And as you see, these sets are all, I believe, 14 plus or 18 plus. I don't recall what the age uh, category is on. Uh, nope, they don't have it here. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, let's see what else is there. Oh, Star Wars. So the next team is Star Wars. Okay, so they are uh, opening the Star Wars team with the uh, Ultimate Collector Series, uh, which is the Millennium Falcon, second generation, or second edition, I mean. This is set 75192, uh, 7,541 set. Definitely one of the big sets. I do have this set, and again, I did not build it yet. 
because I have no room to put it right now, but definitely will be built and put in the new leg room uh, uh, very soon because I'll be uh, I'll be in that leg room end of August, beginning of September. So more to come on this, but uh, this is an eight hundred dollar set. Uh, I don't know if uh, if it's still available. I know it's hard to find, but hey, again, if you're a Lego collector and you don't have this second edition, you might want to grab one if it's not too late already. Because the first edition, I, I don't know when it was released, 2009 or 2012. Uh, they are, of course, very expensive to get because they're second hand now. Uh, definitely a good one to have. Uh, this is actually one of the biggest Lego sets. Not maybe by count, because the Colosseum maybe will, uh, like this Colosseum uh, Lego set is actually more count than it. But I think from size, this is one of the biggest size and the most expensive Lego set. Uh, that I'm aware of, $800. Yep, that's definitely one of the most expensive LEGO sets. Let's see what else is there. Oh, more Star Wars. Uh, so here they have the helmets uh, and uh, R2-D2. I do have these sets actually. Again, they're not built yet. Uh, actually, R2-D2, this, is, uh, this was released this year. I think they all were released in 2021, I believe. Uh, I think uh, R2-D2, there's a, a Ultimate Collector Series Edition, which I do have that also built, and there's a video uh, that I posted on YouTube. You can check it out if you want. Uh, but this is a, a non, this is just another set they released. So if you ever miss the Ultimate Collector Series, you could always grab one of these. Uh, Lego set 75308. Retail for $200. Uh, so I'll uh, definitely build the one I have eventually. Uh, then comes to the DC and Marvel, the next two pages. Uh, the Batman wing, uh, which I have that. I think I have a video posted for that. You can check it out. Lego set 76161. And the Daily, Daily Bugle, which is a Marvel. Uh, this is a Lego 76178. This uh, goes to $300. I do have this. I did not build it yet. But this is actually very interesting because this is one of their uh, big uh, building, I guess, the team. Uh, one of the big ones. So, so they're starting to actually look into like skyscraper kind of style buildings. So I'm looking forward to building this one. And then they are here. Okay, this is the Friends. So if you're into the, friend, the show, the TV show Friends, uh, they have two sets for that. I do have both of them, actually. Uh, there's a smaller one, the Central Perk, which is this one, Lego 21319. Uh, I think you can still buy it, uh, on, uh, either from Lego or outside Lego, like Target, Walmart. And then there's a new one that was released this year, uh, the Friends Apartment, which is Lego 10292, which is $150. Uh, yes, you could uh, get those if you're into that show. Uh, I did get them actually for another project I'm going to work on, uh, using them, combining them together to build actually uh, an apartment uh, building. Uh, more to come on that. Uh, so, but they're nice. I mean, I like them. I like the show. I did watch the show when it was out uh, years ago. Uh, then comes to uh, vehicles. Okay, so they have the Creator Expert Series, the Ford Mustang 1967. I do have this one. I'm going to build it eventually. Uh, this is a Lego 10265. Uh, it goes for $150. Great vehicle, of course. Uh, I'm looking forward for the build. And then uh, Ghostbusters Ecto-1. So if you recall the TV, the, the movies uh, Ghostbusters. So, yep. They have the vehicle too, uh, Ecto-1, which I do have a video posted for that. I did build this one, Lego set 10274, and it goes for $200. And then the new Lego Creator Expert Team. Uh, we're still on Lego Expert Team. Uh, this is the new Porsche that was released this year, uh, Lego set 10295, retails for $150. Very definitely a very nice build. I did not build it yet. I do have it, but I've seen people who build it and they are very happy with it. Uh, you, of course, you could build one of the two. Uh, you see in the picture, you could build the turbo or the target top. I still did not decide which one I want to build. Uh, you could, of course, build only one of them. If you want to build both, you have to buy two sets, which is, I guess, gets pricey then. Uh, I might most probably go for the 
turbo, but I guess we'll find out when we build them. And then you have here uh, some uh, uh, Adidas. This is a new one, just came out recently. Lego set 10282 uh, and retails for $80. Uh, I did buy this one actually just because it's for the looks of it. <laughs> I think it'll look very nice in, for displaying it on a shelf. And I do like the box actually. That that's nice that they use the Adidas box. So if you're if you're an Adidas uh, person, I do have Adidas shoes, so I know this resembles the box. So I found this very interesting that they use the same box as Adidas. So all in all, I think it's a good display uh, uh, product. And then you have the arts. Uh, and of course, they're showing the Beatles here. Uh, I do not have this. Uh, particular set which is 31198 I do have other ones uh, I have videos posted for them I do have the Marvel Iron Man I do have Star Wars Darth Raider and Mickey Mouse and uh, Minnie Mouse from Disney but I do not have this one so if you need to I guess if you're into the Beatles uh, you have to buy all four of them if you want to build the different members uh, because each set will allow you only to build one of them and it retails for $120 each so there you go and last but not least, yep, that's the last of the booklet. The, the biggest for the last, I guess. These are the last two sets, which are, I guess, new sets and big sets. So the first here, this one is the world map. Uh, Lego set 31203 that was received, released recently and retails for $250. I do not have this set. Will I buy it? I don't know, actually. Uh, it is uh, actually claims to be... The largest set from piece count, 11,695. I would say yes for my count wise, but again, keep in mind, these are the small item, uh, uh, small Lego bricks. So comparing it to the Millennium Falcon, Star Wars, I mean, yeah, it could be bigger in count, but it's not bigger in size. I, I disagree with that part, but it is what it is. Even with the Colosseum, uh, yeah, I, would, I mean, the Colosseum is another Lego set, 10276. Retails for $550. I do not have this one either. This is 9,036 pieces. So between this and the world map and the Millennium Falcon, they are all big counts. But from a price wise, the Millennium Falcon is $800. So definitely it's a huge set there. Definitely looking forward to build it. But yeah, the world map, like I said, I don't know if I would buy that one. And if I buy it, it would be because I had nothing else maybe to buy. Maybe I don't know. But I would spend the $250 on other things. Again, that's my opinion. And I didn't like the coloring of it. I mean, if you want to do a world map, do a real world map, like show the ocean in blue, show the the terrain in, uh, you know, like yellowish for desert and green for, uh, you know, greenery, forestry and things like that. I think that's what I would most probably, if they had done it this way, I most probably would have definitely maybe considered buying one for $250. But yeah, so we'll see how that comes. And the Colosseum, like I said, is right now another uh, big set. I'm eyeing one of them actually. Uh, it's been released, I think, a year now, more than a year. I don't remember if it's 2020 or 2019. Uh, but uh, would consider maybe getting one. But for $550, I don't know. I might wait till I have the VIP points that I mentioned earlier in the video and maybe use those, those points to just get one for free. Uh, I will have most probably enough points to just give them the points and then get one. That maybe would be a way I would go after it or maybe use most of my points and then pay, and pay just negligible amount like a $100 or $50 and just grab one of them in the future. I don't know. We'll see. I know I know people who have it to say it's a big set to display. So that's pretty much the last of it. So uh, again, like I said, I just wanted to share this uh, catalog with you from Lego. It's, uh, it's a new... Uh, new team the way that i guess changing it it's, this is pretty much uh, going after the adult lego fans uh, which is kind of cool i like that and as always uh, uh if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe uh, you can follow me on instagram and uh, as always don't forget to hit the like and share button and till next video let's keep building